Story time. Now, this story is by Hans Christian Andersen, and it's called The Ugly Duckling. Now, I think it's over that way. There's a place called Lakeside. Well, that lake at one time was clogged up with weeds and bulrushes, and on this particular day, a little baby bird was born. Now, to be honest, it was a bit on the ugly side. It was all brown and all fluffy and some of the feathers were a bit... Well, it was a bit of an ugly bird. And it stopped with its mother for quite a while, hiding under her wings and feeding on all the grasses and things that live inside the lake. Now, it got to a time when his mother said, I think you ought to go around the lake and see what the other birds are doing. So with his little orange legs, he went to have a look around the lake, not too far from Mum, but he went to have a look. Well, he came upon a kingfisher. Oh, cracky. Ooh, why you an ugly? Ooh, move on, move on. What an ugly bird. So upset the little bird, but he moved on a little bit further. To it, do what an ugly creature! Said an owl. Well, that's not very nice, little bird. And again, upset. Paddled a bit further. But this went on as he moved around the lake. All the birds were saying, "Oh, you're ugly, and oh, we don't like, we don't like you. Move along." We're, we're so beautiful looking birds. Oh no, move on. So he went back to his mother. And his mother said, well, don't be upset. Things will change. But this hurt this little bird, this little duckling. So he decided he was going to stay with his mother for a long, long time. But as birds grow up, their parents leave them. And he was on his own. And he was so scared of being called names again, he went into the bulrushes and the weeds and everything where no one could see him. Now that was springtime and springtime led to autumn and the leaves began to drop, the gold winds blew all over the lake and then came the frost and the snow. Then things started to brighten up and the snow started to melt and the water began to crack open and all the little bits of ice drifted away and the bird thought I think I'm old enough now to stand on my own two webbed feet so I'm going to go across the lake well he started to swim across the lake and the first person he came across was the kingfisher. Wow! 
Wow! What a beautiful bird you are! Well, the Goblin thought, he changed his tune, and he paid no mind to it. A little bit further on, Do it too, look at you! said the owl. That's very, very strange. But as he went round the lake, all the other birds began to shout and smile and flap their wings and bow their heads. Finally, he got back to the reeds and his mother said, Have you looked at your reflection in the water? Well, no. And as he bent his head forward, he realised he'd got a very long, slender white neck, a bright orange beard and beautiful dark eyes. I'm a mother, mother, I'm a swan! Of course you're a swan, what did you think you were? And he flapped his wings and went up and down the lake. You see, what you have to remember is sometimes beauty's on the inside as well as the outside. Look at him, he changed into a beautiful bird. So don't always judge people by what they look like. Wait and see what they're like on the inside. Now, Shall we move on to another place? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, never get used to it. Now that's the end of this story. But there are others to come. Keep watching this space. You ready? Three, two, one.